hello and welcome back to my channel my name is Hannah and today we are going to be doing a Q&A so instead of doing like the typical Instagram poll I thought it would be cool to get some questions um, from a girls group that I actually help with it is a um, middle school to high school group of girls that and me and another uh, one of my friends from my church actually kind of oversee and try to do fun things with and we had a sleepover with them and I told them about my YouTube channel and that I started one and told them I wanted to do kind of like a get to know me and ask them what questions they thought would be good. Um, so these questions are from them. So first of all, what is my full name? My full name is Hannah Grace Folks. And not that this is a question, but uh, it's just an interesting fact about it. Um, Hannah in Hebrew actually means grace. My parents got the name Hannah from the Bible and because they wanted a biblical name for one of their kids. And um, so yeah, Hannah in Hebrew means grace and that's kind of how they got my middle name, I guess. Uh, am I in college? Yes, I am in college. I am a sophomore slash junior. I'm kind of in between because I was a whole semester ahead. Um, so it's kind of like an in between. Don't really know if I'm sophomore or junior. Um, I will, I think, have junior hours this coming semester. Um, my favorite Bible verse. So my favorite Bible verse... There's a couple I really like, but my go-to is I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. And if you haven't read the verses before that, they are great too. And I have found a lot of use out of those and comfort in those in this season of my life that I've been going through. Um, go and look at it if you can, if you have time, um, because that passage overall is really great. So yeah, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. I also really love the passage above that. So next question is, what are my hobbies? You want to say hi? I feel really dizzy. Oh. My sister was just walking on the treadmill for like, how long? An hour and five minutes. An hour and five minutes. Did you drink water? No. <laughs> Sit down. I'm sitting. Just... I'm really concerned older sister here. Okay. Next is what are my hobbies? So my hobbies are anything artsy I really love. Um, I also really enjoy uh, weightlifting, working out, anything active. Um, what else do I like? You want to help me out? Fashion, beauty. Pretty much anything. You just kind of... <laughs> like just, everything, yeah. right? Yeah. I kind of... I'm not hard to please. I'm not hard to buy for either. I like every kind of style, like, mm -hmm. almost. Like, I give me anything and I'll be excited. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not high maintenance at all. <laughs> I mean, you should make a video after this. Okay. <laughs> my sister's going to be in my next video. Whatever. Yeah, know, after so. this. Sorry, this is a little bit everywhere. Um, what sports do I play slash did I play, if any? So, I did gymnastics for 13 years. Um, so, from 3 to 16, I did gymnastics. I also, when I was really little, played soccer. That did not last. I think I cared more about... Um, playing with the flowers <laughs> and soccer. So, um, gymnastics. After gymnastics, I took up ballet and really enjoyed dance. It's a little more slower pace um, and a lot more focused on, you know, making sure that you're landing properly um, and that sort of thing. So it was easier on my knees, whereas gymnastics was very hard on my knees loved it always will have a love and appreciation for the sport but it did it did a lot of damage to my knees um I also did track I did track in eighth grade and I picked it back up again after my gymnastics career kind of ended due to some knee injuries and I did cross country um 
but that didn't last a long time either because I it wasn't good for my knees either I don't know why I thought oh my knees are hurt from gymnastics let me go pound on them some more <laughs> but um, they told me that if I continued running competitively that I would probably have arthritis in the in my knees by the time I was 40 so <laughs> I kind of wanted to salvage what was left of them and, you know, just run on my own time. So, next question. I think that's all the sports I played. Um, and then after that, I, like, started to pick up weightlifting. My major is exercise science, so I really enjoy weightlifting and exercising and helping other people exercise. Um, next question is... Siblings. Do I have any siblings? Yes, and I kind of already answered this because she came into the room while I was filming. Um, I have one sibling, and she is five years younger than me, and her name is Paisley. And love her. She's 14, and we are super close. Um, but yeah, any, any sort of relationship is hard, and we definitely went through a patch where like we didn't know what we had in common at one point because we are five years apart but I would say now that we're super close we're best friends um, next is what am I studying in school I answered this too I am studying exercise science I am pre PT pre physical therapy pathway right now um, I don't know if that will end up being my pathway for sure I I'm going to like try to shadow all the different areas of exercise science and options that I have over break and that's something that I'm going to try to figure out over break. <laughs> um, next is what is my relationship status? <laughs> <laughs> I have been in a relationship for a while. Um, I do have a boyfriend. His name is Tanner. And he actually helped me edit my last video, and he's super sweet, and I hope y'all get to meet him soon. You probably will. You probably will, um, because he's a big part of my life, and um, my best friend, so. Paisley's looking at me, you're my best friend too. You just said I was your best friend, <laughs> and you were like, he's my best friend. Well, he's my best friend. Well, I'm your best friend. You're my best friend too. <laughs> I know. Okay. So, next is what is my favorite restaurant slash type of food? Paisley, do you know? Uh, I think your favorite type of food is Mexican. Yeah! Every time we're like, where do you want to go? She's like, Mexican! <laughs> Hannah, we just ate that last night. So? <laughs> I love Mexican food. Everybody knows that if they don't want to go to Mexican, don't ask me where I want to go eat. I'm really cool with eating anywhere, though. Mm -hmm. Like... I'm not the one to be an issue when it comes to food because I am a foodie. I love food. Give me all the food and I will be a happy girl. I am not picky. I always tell other people, if you have a preference, you go ahead and say it because my mom is the type of person and my grandmother, my grandmother is the queen of this, to be like, where do you want to eat? Just pick somewhere and I'll list every restaurant in town and she will be like, I don't want that. I don't want that. I'm like, well, I don't care where we ate, eat, so you pick because you're the one who does. Um, but if I got to choose, I would probably always choose Mexican. I love Mexican food. Okay, so next question is, do I have any pets? I do. I have a dog. He is an Australian Shepherd. His name is Jake, and I have three cats. Um, the oldest cat, his name is Kit Cat. I named him and then we have two kittens and their names are Simba and Nala and I'd love to share the story about that if y'all would like to hear a little story time of how I got all my pets um because they were our they're our little kitty angels they the Lord sent them to our house <laughs> as well we always joke he sent them to well it's kind of serious I guess he sent them, we believe he sent them to our house for us to save them and take care of them. And it was supposed to be to foster, but I got attached and eventually their grandma got attached, my mom. So we got to keep them. And I'm happy because they're so cute. 
Um, and next is where do I like to shop? Anywhere and everywhere would be my answer. I love to shop. So when people ask me where I get my clothes, I'm always like, you know, here, there, and everywhere. Because anywhere I can find a deal, I love to go. Do I not love to shop, Pace? Mm -hmm. I love to shop. Shop till I drop. So um, my, oh, no, go ahead, Pace. It's okay. You can cut in. I was going to say my favorite place to shop. I don't know why, but... Where's your favorite place to shop? American Eagle? Mm -hmm. I, I love, love that place. If I had to tell probably the place that I buy the most stuff at, it would probably be American Eagle mm -hmm. and thrift shops like Goodwill and like mm -hmm. thrift, actual thrift places. Because I don't like thrift shopping. It gets so annoying. I love it. I, I like live. to go in, know what I want, get it, and I'm fine. <laughs> I think it's so... I think part of the fun is digging to find this stuff. Like, I love... I got a pair of Lululemon leggings at Goodwill. Yeah, in and great like me, condition. And then when we went, when we went Goodwill shopping with Elise, that was fun. That was really fun. Yeah. So I would love to do a my best Goodwill finds or my best thrift store finds because I've got quite a few. I won't give them all away. I'll just tell you I found a pair of Lululemons at Goodwill. So, don't neglect Goodwill or your thrift shops. If you can put up with digging through stuff, go. Because I love it. Now, I do really like American Eagle. Mm -hmm. I would for sure, like, say that's one of my top ones. Okay. I also really like Urban Outfitters. Even though their stuff is pricey and I've only, like, bought, like, one thing from there. I definitely see things that I really like there. Okay. So, next is where have I traveled to... In, con in country, I probably traveled to quite a few places. Mm -hmm. We've traveled to Florida quite a bit, um, Panama City, Vero Beach. Where else have I traveled to? Sanibel Virginia. Island slash Captiva. Uh, we've been to, I'm trying to think of all the places in Florida first. Orlando, because we went to mm -hmm. Disney World. Um, where's the, where was that other beach we went to before we Cocoa went to? Beach. Cocoa Beach. Where else have I been? Okay, so then I've been in. I've been to Virginia. I've been to North Carolina, uh, South Carolina, um, Tennessee, like a lot. Cause mm -hmm. if you know, well, most people know geography a little bit, especially if they're in the U.S. So Tennessee's right next to or right under Kentucky. <laughs> so. That's oh, that's easy to go to. Um, I've been to... How did I forget this? I've been to New York. I've been to Chicago. Mm -hmm. West Virginia. We said a night in Alabama. I don't know if that counts. So that's just a little snippet. Um, over the summer, we actually did travel out of country. Oh, I actually have pictures up there. Oh, you have pictures. Oh wait, I have more pictures. Okay, well, Sorry, we can show I'm those. Getting, we traveled to, comment below if you can guess where you think we went out of the country. It's, so I showed my friend, so I took these pictures and I showed my friend um, the pictures and she was like, that's real life. I was like, yeah, yeah, it's real life. It literally, honestly too, it looked like that if not prettier. Yeah, it like, was prettier. I but... could cry. Uh, actually, I do cry every time we go <laughs> to the beach. The it's a thing that like, I do. <laughs> Literally, I see the ocean. I'm like, like I'm tearing up right now. What in the world? I don't know. Like, you tear up over a lot of stuff. I okay. But it's okay. That's it's good. This is. Let's see. Yeah, that is. And I took those pictures. Paisley <laughs> took this picture. Perfect day at Coco K. I if we could have stayed at that island every day. I would have stayed there. Oh, it's so pretty. I would have lived there. Yeah. I would have packed up my bags and said goodbye internet, goodbye world, and moved there. Um, I love that picture. Oh, what happened to my lighting? Okay, there we go. <laughs> and there is this one. I think this one is so cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I did not say before, the place that we went to was the Bahamas. And the trip was a cruise that my grandparents were so sweet and took literally my whole family on. 
Um, and we, the first day was at Nassau. The second day we went to a, which Nassau was really cool culturally just to see, you know, it was definitely more touristy, um, but it was really cool. And they, um, we went on a glass bottom boat ride, which was really neat. It was probably my favorite part. And we got to see like so many different famous people's homes and that was really cool. Beyonce, Shakira, Chuck Norris, Chuck Shakira. Norris. Um, Britney Spears, Michael Jordan, or was it, yeah, or was. LeBron James, I don't remember, <laughs> well, one of the basketball players, he had like three houses in a row, I was like, why do you need right each other. three mansions in a row, anyways, so many different celebrities, we would love to put together all the little clips uh, from that trip, because it was so cool, but the next day was at Coco Cay, um, and the first thing we did that morning it was like a private island. They've got the little huts. It was beautiful. First thing we did is we went and got to hold stingrays and snorkel with them. That was hectic because it was supposed to be a 12 minute walk when you got off. We well, we could do a little story time about it. Yeah. Yeah. When you do story time. Yeah. Um, okay. So where I would love to travel to. I want to go so many places. My room used to be Paris themed. Like I was obsessed with Paris. I want to go there so bad. I would love to go to Spain. Um, I'd love to travel like a lot in Europe. Like I'd like to go all over Europe and travel. Australia would be really cool. I really want to go see my sponsor child um, through the Compassion International program. Um, she lives in Africa and I think it would be so cool to go see her and see the difference. Why am I tearing up? <laughs> and see the difference that I've been able to make in her life just through my little I'm tearing up. I would love to do a video about Compassion International and the difference that they make in like these kids lives. And the letters that you get, it's just really cool and I'm sorry, I'm tearing up. I do this. <laughs> okay, pull it together. Anyways, I would love to go see her and the difference that I've been able to make just with a small donation each month um, in her life and her family's life. Uh, Tanner, I'm filming a video. Okay. <laughs> he was texting me. Okay. So, am I an introvert or an extrovert? I am definitely an extrovert. I enjoy being with people. I love talking to people. I love getting to know different types of people. And, um, I really care for people and have just a compassionate heart towards people and just really enjoy friendship and enjoy, um, conversations meaningful conversations. I'm definitely not the how's the weather type of gal. I love to get to know people. Um, I definitely, I, with that though, I will say that I do need my alone time too. Like my time to just sit and just be like me and Jesus or um, my time just to be by myself and um, kind of re, what is the word? Recharge. Yeah, rejuvenate. I have to have that little bit of time to myself too, if I've been with people a lot, just to recharge. Um, but I definitely also get energy from people. So I would say a little bit of a mix, but it, I, if I had to say, I'd probably say extrovert. extrovert. Um, best gift I've ever gotten? Me. Yes! That is such a good... Yes, actually, I will say that. Best gift I've ever been oh, given is kidding, definitely but. my sister. <laughs> And I know that sounds cheesy, but I literally prayed for her for so long, even though I was only five when, like, I can just remember for a few years, like, praying to have a sister. I wanted a sister so bad. So, yes, I would say that my sister is the best gift I've ever gotten. Best gift I have ever given. There was one birthday, one of Tanner's birthdays, birthdays that I gave him this book. And it was like a little story about us. I made people cry. Like, <laughs> so I would say that that's like the Monica, best. Like Monica, trying to make people cry with her speech. <laughs> yeah, I made people cry. Then my dad had also given me my grandfather's watch to give to Tanner. Because, I mean, he really thinks a lot of Tanner. And it's a nice watch. And... Uh, 
I gave it to him and people started crying again. So yeah, that's probably the best gift I've ever given. I will take pride in I'm actually a pretty good gift giver. I want the gifts to be personalized. I want to make people cry with my gifts. Um, that doesn't always happen, but I always try to make them personalized personalized and meaningful and like what people want um so yeah that is probably the best gift i've ever given and that wraps up our q a this is a little quick get to know me i hope you enjoyed it i hope you will think about subscribing and liking this video leaving a little comment if you feel telling me what you would like to see next what you enjoyed what you didn't enjoy and i Hope that you all have a very Merry Christmas. Um, Merry Christmas Eve Eve. That's what I filmed this is the day before Christmas Eve. And if you know where that reference is from, then you're a fan of the greatest show ever. <laughs> um, comment below if you know where that's from. And thank you so much for wa watching. I hope you have a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and a great New Year. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!